Graham's first stop this week is in Windsor, where he's expected for an audience with a rather distinguished dog. Trip is a 16-month-old Harlequin Great Dane. He's come from a wonderful line of dog show winner Danes. He's got one of the purest bloodlines in the whole of the UK. Befitting such a privileged pooch, owner L waits on Trip hand and foot. He is quite fussy about his breakfast. Sometimes when I'm frying his scrambled eggs, I do it in coconut oil, but he's gone off that a little bit now. So he's a prince. I know he is. He's a prince. It's not just mealtimes where this cosseted canine has the very best. This is Tripp's bedroom. I've decorated it to match his print. He finds comfort from it. I know he does, because sometimes I walk in, he's just looking at the walls. And he thinks, oh, it's like me. He gets the bath filled with a uh, nice vegan bubble bath shampoo. Then I generally exfoliate him a little bit with an exfoliating sponge. Sit. Oh, very handsome. And this pampered prince isn't just worshipped by his owner. Trip has quite a big following on social media. Lots of people like to keep in touch with his day-to-day -day adventures. Yeah, he just looks the perfect dog. Really cute, funny, dopey. But the world of social media is not as perfect as it appears. Because in the real world... Trip, trip, trip! This star isn't a polite prince, but a pugnacious punk. If Trip sees another dog, he will hit the roof, lunging, pulling, barking, growling. Right, Trip, enough now. Calm down. Calm, enough. Come on, Mum, come on. Other dogs are terrified, people are terrified, and he's very unpredictable. Trip, please, please. No. I often find myself in a field screaming at people, going, don't come any closer. The biggest part of my social interaction in my life is with my dog. Oh, that's quite sad at 27. <laughs> my biggest fear is that one day he's going to hurt a dog Come or a person. No, 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 not like that. Including me. Oh, no, trick, trick, trick. I'm covered in bruises constantly. He's not me flying. Oh, Jesus. Ow. There's part of me that thinks, how long before he drags me into an oncoming car? <laughs> trick, enough now. <laughs> ah! I feel that like I failed him and myself by not being able to get him under control. I think I've spoiled him. How'd you get yours like that? <laughs> Look at the state of me. Look at that. State of my feet. I've just had my nails done. There are times when I just sit in the floor and cry about it because I, it's not the life that I expected. <laughs> If you pamper your pooch too much, it can lead to behavioural problems. And here's why. A spoilt dog is a bit like a spoilt child. So you put them on a pedestal, and then they start to think they're the boss. And that's when their behaviour reflects it. All right, all right, all right, all right back. 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 Oh, he wants to meet. Oh, hold yeah. on. Hello. Oh, look, he's not happy, is he? <laughs> nice to meet you, hello. Nice to meet you, Graham. Hi. <laughs> oh, that's my flip flop broken again. See, you don't want to murder anybody, really, do you? Hey? Pretty good impression of it. Can I come in? You're brave. <laughs> Even I don't want to come in my house and he's like that. Well, come on. Come on. This is Tripp's bedroom. So you've got... You've got a bedroom for you and a bedroom for Trip, and there's no room for any friends. Graham, they don't want to come over anyway because of Trip. Right. Do you think you bought the wrong dog? No. No, I love him. Look, when I'm lying in the main road, like literally face down, trying with all my might to cling <laughs> onto the dog as he tries to get after a person or another yeah. dog or a car, I do kind of wish I'd got a pug. Mm. But he's funny and he's so cute, but the way he is towards other people terrifies me. Yeah. You look nervous when I walked in the door. I don't, but the thing is, Graham, I don't really have people round. They're terrified. I would be. It's horrible. Yeah. Tell me, what do you feed him? Well, that's quite a story in itself, but I am yeah. just actually about to give him breakfast if you wanted to... Yeah, shall off. we? Yeah, yeah, let's have a look. Good. There we go. Oh, he's excited. So what are you making now? So we have the eggs with the Greek yoghurt and honey, topped up with goat's milk, and then sometimes a little bit of cheese on top of these being. That's <laughs> what so you've got. Sorry. Let me get this a green yoghurt. <laughs> this is the prettiest dog in the world, isn't yeah. it? 
And we top with his goatee milk. <gasps> Hungry, handsome man's. If I had an imaginary league table of the most pampered poochies I'd ever seen, I'd be taking Tripp's name and I'd be going... There. That's Tripp. Breakfast time. Whilst Tripp's welcome was less than friendly, his calm demeanour at home has led Graham to a confident conclusion. In a nutshell, the problem is that Elle treats him like a rock star. She gives him everything he wants and she has no control at all. But really, this should be quite easy to fix. What led to you getting a dog? I had a really awful incident. I was mugged. It was a really, really horrific, violent attack. And so when I kind of came back from that, there was a part of me that thought, maybe this is the time, because one, I want the company, I don't want to be alone, I'm scared. Mm. Two, he's going to get very big, I'll probably feel safe with a bigger dog. But now, I'm not scared of what the people will do to, to me, I'm scared of what my dog could do to other people, basically. Yeah. For Graham to find a solution to Tripp's scary behaviour, he has to see him when he's at his very worst, around strangers with strange dogs. Tripp, come on, this way. Oh, I think somebody's just arrived with a dog. God, he's seen it. <laughs> Trip is becoming increasingly aggressive, but Graham is more concerned about Elle's reaction. Yeah, she's just... Oh, I can't cope. It's gone, please. Wait, what's this? Mummy, mummy. <laughs> Elle, really, is just giving up, you know? So he thinks he needs to defend them, and she kind of proves him right. Having seen Trip and Elle's extreme reaction to anyone coming near... I'm so sorry. Graham's earlier confidence has gone. Outside, it's a different thing. He doesn't calm down at all. But I've been seeing how badly he does react when you, you get out somewhere like the pub. It, it, this is a, it's a bigger job than I thought in the flat. Not the table, Trip. Trip the table. We've got a big problem. The truth is, if it continues like that, people have got every right to be scared of him. One day he's going to get himself, well, let's be honest, put down. Yeah, it's like what I'm terrified of, to be honest. I know you got him not as this terrible, horrible attack dog or anything like that, but you've ended up with this. And I think you've caused it. I know I have. It's my fault. You know, it's not him, it's me. I know it is. Yeah. What I'm seeing is that you're effectively doing nothing because you, you're just paralysed by fear. And so th there's this irony going on that you worry so much that something bad's going to happen that he feels that he's needing to protect you both, but there's nobody to tell him, oi, no, there's some rules and boundaries, and you've crossed them. OK. Yeah? I think what he said is right. I've spoiled him. I'm not strong enough with him. I'm not firm enough with him. There's got to be a bit more of a hierarchy, cos there's just not... Actually, no, 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 that's a lie. There is a hierarchy, but Tripp thinks that he's on top, and he is, so... By showing Tripp, that she is the one in charge and that she does not need to be defended. That's the thing that's going to stop his aggressive outbursts. I'm anxious about this training because even if I can get it with Trip, will Elle be able to do it? I think she's at a very low point and she really needs to sort of rev herself up to do it. Can he do it? Can she do it? There's a lot of ifs. Let's see what he does. Because of Tripp's size and strength, Graham wants to start with him remaining fixed to the bench. So Elle can safely send a clear message that she's in charge. When Tripp reacts, we're going to stand in front of him and tell him to calm down and keep repeating that calmly but firmly until he calms down. And then when he does, we're going to praise him for being a good boy. Calm down. That's better. Good boy. Do that. The, the message here now is very much, it's not going to work, young man. Right. Yeah. Well, let's try again. There. Good boy. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Do you want to move in? Seeing is believing, isn't it? I like, feel like there might be a bit of hope. <laughs> How do you feel about giving it a go yourself? Not overly confident yet. No, OK. Well, here's the trick. Even if you're not feeling confident, just pretend it. OK, I know? can do that. Faced with a steady line of potential Ooh. threats, no, can no, L no. fake it? Calm down. No, calm. Calm down. Calm That's down. It. So you don't have to 
physically manhandled him in position. I was, saw you trying to drag him in front around. of him. Just stand in front, yeah. Good boy. No, no. no. Tell him. No. Calm down. No. Good boy. Good well done. Boy. Good boy. That was better. It was better. It's a simple technique, but as L becomes more confident... No. 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 That's better. Trip is reacting less. Good boy. Calm down. No. Calm down. Brilliant, that was one calm down. And with each passing dog... Look at that. Trip is no longer barking or lunging. Great. Good Let's boy. Let's just keep this up. Until he's barely reacting. Calm down. Good, Good boy. boy. Super. Good That's boy. That's a different dog. Mate. Brilliant. What? He's keeping his cool now. That's a massive improvement. Like, and everything he's saying makes perfect sense. Like, I've got to stand over Trip a bit more and show more authority. I've got to stop hiding behind him. I've got to take the reins. Obviously, you're going to have to practice it. You're going to have to keep going. But we've seen some great progress today. Big progress.